what I've got here today is a little shower screen. It was a company called Easy Glide. It's probably early 1990s. Good company, good quality product. As you can see here, it's not in very good condition. It's fallen off the rails. It is, it's not going anywhere. Let's get the rollers back on the track without causing any damage. So it's a little bit of wiggly and waggling. Okay, that one's back up. We've got a little bit of movement. Basically, what I've done, I've just tried to get it back up on the rollers, so it's sitting there, it's not going to fall out on me. A bit of housekeeping, I've got the drop sheet. Every bit of this bathroom has been utilised for uh, my parts and my uh, tools. It's a very tight little bathroom. Okay, first of the tricks when you're repairing one of these screens is to try and get them apart. So, trying not to scratch the aluminium. This track, it's only powder coat, it's very thin. It's good powder coat, but it's still thin. Just be really, really careful you don't scratch everything. Lift it up, watch the roof, or twist them around. Grab the door, finger over the roller, into the screw hole, and just hand untighten them. You can do it with a, you can do it with a power, you can do it with a drill or a power screwdriver, but I like doing it this way, just purely because you've got a bit more control. And with this, this, this screw is actually really, really tight on that roller. So what I do is get a pair of pliers, just crack it, okay? That's, un I'll crack the seal, wind him out, and out he pops. Taking the rollers off, eyeball down the top of the, where the rollers go on, on the top plate. You see it's just out. So basically the pliers will go on and this will bend it over. So I'm just gonna put a microfiber over the top so I don't scratch the powder coating. So just put the pliers there and give it a quick tweak back to where it's not flat. And then I'll do the same thing on this one here. So microfiber again, pliers over the top, over the holes, I'm just give it a quick little bend. And you'll see that's pretty much, that's as, that's as good as you're gonna get on this particular shower screen, okay? These are the rollers I use on these Easy Glide shower screens. They're a long shaft and the medium shaft. You can see the difference, it's a couple of mil difference. So the roller's on. I just do it, so that's moving up and down. So I just tighten it so it just doesn't move up and down. So it's not firm, it's just, it's sitting nice and tight, but it's not firm. This is so that I can adjust it later and it's not absolutely cranked on. Trojan, man, this thing's done some miles. Put it through the top, hold it with your finger, hold the roller against the plate, just slowly screw it in. Oh, takes 30 seconds longer. Lead door, pull him across, lift it up into the cavity. Generally, these pull out from the back, not the front. So if you try to pull it out from the front, Quite often they, they grab on the front, so lift it up, out, down, and up. Simple as that. If the rolls haven't been adjusted properly, if this roll was right down low, sometimes uh, it makes it a little bit difficult to get out. If that was the case with this particular shower screen, quarter inch uh, ring spanner, while it's in the cavity, I would just release it. I'll show you how I actually do that. Quarter inch spanner up onto the, just release it. That just dropped the roller down about a quarter of an inch, three or four mil. It's been repaired once or twice before. How I know that is incorrect rollers. These are not the rollers for this particular shower screen. It was probably working just there. These, these rollers are used on the ideal Regency Steg Bar screens, old shower right shower screens, definitely not on an Easy Glide shower screen. They've been retrofitted and they're definitely probably two thirds the problem why this screen doesn't work. They're just incorrect. They're nice and tight. Just crack those off. Same thing with this one. That's loosened. Standard screwdriver. Twist, 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 and off she comes. Same, same, same on this one. The finger on the roller or the, the roller or the wheel. And it comes, simple as that. Now, if you have a look down the side here, on the top plate, absolutely perfect. They're, I mean, 30 years old and it hasn't even bent a millimeter. That's, that's brilliant. So 
no need to absolutely no need to straighten that one up slightly different roll I'm going to use the these actually when they're manufactured they used to put the narrower or the shorter shaft roller in so I'm going to put this in first and just see how it sits if it doesn't sit correctly I'll put the larger roller in it just depends on the the, the waggle and the dangle of the, of the door I've done this a thousand times so I'm going to put that on there square so you don't strip it nice and super simple firm back it off so it doesn't move up and down okay